Taylor earlier was covering, you know, in the event that we go worst case scenario, how much rain we could see west of 75. Now we're talking east of 75, kind of more worst case scenario, Taylor. Yes, and we're taking a closer look at people again who live east of I-75 this time. But what I showed you earlier and like Ben said, for the western counties and eastern counties, I'm about to show worst case scenario graphics. So in Baldwin County, you can expect up to three inches of rain with wind gusts up to 45 miles an hour with higher wind gusts around the Baldwin County area. If in the worst case scenario, there could be power outages sometime as Ian rolls through heading out to Washington County, you'd see some similar impacts as we can see in Baldwin County, wind gusts will be up to 45 miles an hour, but the difference between Washington and Baldwin counties may be rain totals. In Washington County, since it's a little bit further east, up to four inches of rain could be possible in places. Again, power outage and down trees will remain a possibility. In Lawrence County, rain totals will also be a little less, around the three inch rain. Wind gusts, again, near 40 to 45 miles per hour with power outages and down trees still possible. And last but not least, Johnson County, here are your possible impacts again. Worst case scenario up to four inches of rain wind gusts up to 45 to 50 miles an hour and then power out is also possible. That's if Ian starts to track a little bit more to the west. For more on Ian's track in the forecast, head on over to 13WMAZ.com. And if Central Georgia does see impacts from Hurricane Ian or Tropical Storm Ian at the time, we want to see what's happening in your area. Send us photos and videos of damage. Of course, only take photos or record videos when it's safe to do so. Then send them our way. Text them to 478-752-1309. We'll share them during our coverage on 13 WMAZ.